Hi guys, welcome to PB Shifu. Here we have a package that I received today, earlier today anyways, from a, a user on the forums called Mow Your Face 18 And um, what I'm going to do right here is I'm actually going to unbox this. Uh, it's supposed to be an Ego 8. Um, so one of the few things you should do when you're making forum deals is always try to protect yourself. Don't try to cut corners, especially when it comes to... Uh, uh, paying fees or you want to make sure you have maximum protection especially as a buyer um, so one of the things is always transact things that are secure uh, a lot of things through via PayPal um, when if a seller decides to say you know gift money to them never do that because that's that's just a lot more stress for you um, one of the biggest things you want to make sure is you want to protect yourself against uh, possible possible problems uh, and you want to be able to get at least your money back um, over here we had I had kind of a issue with the seller I would say because the seller had a little bit of lack of, lack of communication and um, supposedly I was uh, supposed to get a confirmation earlier this week sometime between uh, Tuesday and Wednesday um, I didn't get in contact with the seller till Thursday uh, but that was after I was able to initiate all the um, all the disputes with PayPal, and um, I actually issued a uh, a theft report on PB Nation uh, in hopes to get the seller's attention quickly. I mean, one of the few things I one of the few things you should know as a seller is as soon as the buyer pays you. The responsibility falls on you to satisfy the buyer. It's not the other way around. The buyer has no obligation to you at that point. You have the obligation to the buyer. So any agreement between you and the buyer should be fulfilled. If you cannot at any point fulfill that agreement, you should at least talk to the buyer. Um, communication is key. Um, at this point, I mean, I have put up a negative feedback for Moyer Face. Uh, if everything works out, it, this is easily going to turn into uh, a, maybe a positive feedback depending on the condition of the gun and things like that. I mean, he has um, he has contacted me today regarding getting this gun. But see, a lot of things, there's a lot of animosity when it comes to receiving items like this. Uh, and it comes with the fact that the seller doesn't really know you in person. So it's not personal. This is a business transaction. And once the money has been sent, uh, you know, there's a lot of pressure on the buyer to make sure his money was sent to a good person. Um, and, I mean, at this point, I'm pretty sure everybody knows your name, uh, uh, Connor. I, I don't really apologize for the way I reacted towards issuing disputes. Uh, that is something a seller should expect when you don't follow through with what you uh, agreed upon. Okay, so right now I'm going to open this box up, uh, compare it to, you know, the pictures in which that uh, you posted, and hopefully things will work out very well. And you know, I've covered up the addresses just so that uh, to protect uh, Connor's address and uh, his personal information and I've covered up mine so with that I'm just gonna flip the box around open it from the back side first impressions with the box it's obviously a used box I don't really care as long as it's well protected inside although the box does seem sizable enough so that it can hold the gun with a, a lot of padding so let's proceed One of the few things you want to prep when making one of these particular videos is you want to have a chronograph ready, you want to have a tank of air, and some paint, which I have all together. And you want to make sure you have your Allen keys. Well, depending on the marker. Okay, so, I mean, it's not packed bad. It's got newspapers in it or cushion. Um, to be honest, uh, if you're going to use newspapers for... For protecting, I don't understand why it took so long to ship. 
I can understand that you were probably busy, but that doesn't prevent you from at least shooting an email or responding to a PM. I mean, I waited two days for it, and you were supposed to send me some sort of information. I mean, I, I would have taken, oh, it's, I'm getting delayed and things like that, which is fine. Communication is key when it comes to transactions like this. Okay, so here's the gun. I'm going to lay it down. And here's the barrel. That's all it came with. Now, this transaction didn't come with a, a case. There's no case with this. No manual, nothing. So it's just the gun and the barrel. So I'm going to set it up right here, throw all this stuff aside, and I'm going to look down the barrel. Looks like the barrel wasn't cleaned, but that's fine. That's just dirt. Uh, you can't really see it. I don't have a light for you guys. But the outside of the barrel, reasonable. 693 barrel. So it looks like it's stock. That's fine. Uh, as far as the gun's condition... It looks very, very good. In terms of scratches, there's one on the reg, which is fine. Uh, I believe I saw that on the picture in the forum. And as far as everything else, it looks actually as very close to what I saw on the forum. Okay? Um, from here on in, what I'm going to do is I'm going to air it up, dry fire it, and then we're going to go and test the velocity on this thing to make sure there's no leaks at the proper velocity okay so this is in fact an ego 8 and there's no missing jewels or anything which is great this thing's got everything on it that's fine so let's air it up and see if there's any leaks got 2500 psi on my tank more than enough to test Okay. Ah, one thing. I don't know if this has a battery. Let's find out. Ah, it does. Turned on. Looking good. Alright. So now we're going to air it up and test a couple of dry fires. Okay. Looks like you aired up. Now, since there was no manual, See, I've never used an Ego, so I'm not quite sure how to turn off the eyes. Whatever. Uh, as as far as this is, it is now, it does turn on. I'm just going to go straight to uh, putting some paint through this. So, let me just put the barrel on. Get a hopper. And I'm just going to throw some paint through this. It does look like a lot of paint has gone through this, uh, this gun. There is a little bit of breech wear. Uh, I mean, it's expected. This gun is pretty old. It's coming on four years old now. So, let's get some paint and a hopper. Got my trusty hopper here. Always works. Okay. Hopper is in, grab some paint, and we will commence our testing. Got 
got some of my extremely expensive paint from High Velocity. So it really doesn't look like this gun was cleaned very well, but that's only cleaning, so it's not a big issue. I'm gonna grab a couple of these. Throw it in. And there you go. I'm gonna open the back door, get the chrono chronograph ready, and set up the camera. So we're shifting. I'm gonna shoot out to the back door since it's dark out already. As I said in previous videos, there's a tree right outside, and we're we'll shooting right at that tree. Okay, so let's get this going. chronograph and let's find out 261 272 264 oh it's shooting at the low end of the uh, needed velocity that could be due to the uh, barrel being dirty or whatever but it does look like it's shooting properly uh, at this point, there's really no reason for me to turn it up since it's shooting at a, a good level. There's really no reason to shoot higher than that in indoor fields and things like that. So, yeah, I would say airs up. There's no leaks. Um, once again, I thank you, Connor, for uh, making this trade worthwhile. Uh, however, I won't apologize for what I've done. Okay, so at this point, the gun shoots fine. I'm going to put a few more rounds through it. It looks like it's on ramping, and it's fine. It's pretty good. All right. Thanks a lot, guys.